Is that a turn? I don't know if that's a turn. I'm not qualifying that as a turn yet. She weeble wobbles. We should know, though, here in the next hour or so. Is that a turn? She weeble wobbles. Or is that a red herring? A head fake. I don't know. More data needed. Red herring. Powerful hurricane. Major impacts across almost the entire state of Florida as we march on through the next 48 hours. Almost feels like an evil sci-fi villain has his hand on the dial, controlling the wacky weather and disasters that are happening across Earth. Fair enough. We are, all of you know it, on the edge of a climatic abyss. In fact, we are still anticipating a, a northward turn. So starting to add a northward component here. We're looking for that. Hasn't happened yet. Er, Hurricane Irma's track. We expect it to really take the Gulf Coast track. So I'm still waiting for that turn. Because if it doesn't turn, then the Gulf Coast only has a few days to prepare. Let's keep an eye on this. Weather is weird, that is perfectly clear. Does it feel like the weather has just been really weird this year? Oh, so you got to start watching things uh, very carefully. Okay, cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Are you cool? Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor News science upon you. Thor News presents... Well, here's the good news. I don't know how we are defining the term turning, but it is 440 on September 9th, 2017. And if you're watching the path of Hurricane Irma, you can notice that at one point, for a millisecond, she hits a wall. And she's got a bit of a hitch in her step. And last night, the thing that concerned me so much so that I got in trouble at a bar for yelling, running, and then breaking a pool stick. No one was harmed, and I heeded every warning. <laughs> so everybody is on full alert, still, as you have been since I started it. From Mexico to Texas, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, Florida, East Coast, up to Canada. These have been record-breaking, supervillain strange storms, and so... People are certainly concerned about Harvey. The Joker chose me! This is like an Alfred Hitchcock meets Flash Gordon meets Superman 2. Action, adventure, romance, horror, nature versus man, man versus nature, man versus man, weird real life Game of Thrones thing. Fair enough. And so, we're still waiting for the turn. That's going to be very critical as far as where our track finally ends up. Fair enough. I would say that a turn yet, and so everybody needs to be fully aware and prepared because if, if the sound signature of this hurricane didn't wake you up to what we are dealing with, then, well, I don't know what to say, man. I don't know how to put sugar in the spoon. So go ahead and down thumbs this video, make yourself feel better. Plains dust and crops where there ain't no crop. And the people on the TV have been mainly talking about what damage will happen when areas get hit. So I'm still waiting for that turn. Because if it doesn't turn, then... So I'm still waiting for that turn. Because if it doesn't turn... Then, the Gulf Coast only has a few days to prepare. And, both models, as we can see over at Tropical Tidbits, both models, the European and the GFS, show Jose making landfall in about 10 days on the East Coast. So let's just say that in this supervillain Legion of Doom hurricane season, the Harvey crippled Texas and its oil and gas industry. Let's say this warrior goddess Irma hits Florida causes severe trouble at two nuclear power plants and all other damage it does. And then you got Jose, and the maps had him going to the East Coast. Let's say New York, Virginia, New Jersey, Philadelphia, D.C. So that's three weather supervillain strikes on the USA in like, what, in a month? That is crazy. That's what we're dealing with, people. So whereas people are trying to politicize this, or they are acting like this isn't or won't affect them, whatever is happening right now is affecting everybody you just might not know it yet so i'm staying cool man no definitely panic cuddle smoke them if you got them do a little dance hug somebody you love and get ready to build cool shit eventually all this stuff calms down if we do come together as one america's family 
say, hey, you know what? We are all in this together. And if we got a legion of doom, severe weather season, we're going to need to band together. All right. God bless everyone. Peace out. I'm still waiting on her turn. As of 447, she hasn't turned yet. And how are we defining? You have until the sands run up. Climate chaos. Well, ain't that a fine how do you do? And what does that mean, man? That's a lot of real estate and a lot of people in one of the nation's most populated states under the gun. This is going to run up the Gulf Coast side of Florida, most likely. Hurricane Jose is still alive, and Hurricane Katya made landfall last night into Mexico. The outer rain bands of Hurricane Irma starting to affect South Florida, including the Miami area. We do have the 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time um, update on the observations now. The winds are 125 miles an hour. That's still Category 3. Uh, pressure is now 941, moving to the west. That has not changed at 9 miles an hour. Take a look at the hurricane warnings from the state line of Georgia all the way through the Florida Keys and back to the Bahamas. All those areas under hurricane warnings. Hurricane watch is in effect for the Big Bend of the Florida Panhandle stretching through South Georgia into South Carolina. We're really concerned about the storm surge. It's going to be a, sh a strong wind that shifts in from the southwest, driving the ocean water up into land, almost to an elevation of 10, 11, 12 feet in some spots. I hear a jet going over. I guess maybe there's still a flight or two going in and out of Miami International. No, you know what that is? <laughs> That's not a jet. That's his wind whistling through these buildings. Look at the rain now. Look at the squall. Let me see if you can hear this whistle. It is really raining hard. Boy, this wind is howling right now. This, this is just one of these outer bands. Just imagine what it's going to be like. Once we start to see winds like this, it's, it's a ball game here.